Today I'll show you how to go from a full colour logo to a monochrome logo into three easy steps in the Fendi Designer. Let's get started. So what happens if you're working on a website or something and you receive a logo with a background and the client has asked you to monochrome this logo? Now there's a couple of things you can do. You can remove the background easily enough in Photo Designer. To do that, we click on the Pixel Persona. We come over to our layer, we right click and we rasterize the image. We then select the flood fill tool and we select the white area. We come up to select in the menu and invert pixel selection. With that done, we come over to the layers menu and we click the mask layer. Hit control D to deselect and there we go, we've removed the background. So, that's all very well, but what happens if the client wants this on their website, but they don't want the color? Now this happens a lot. Uh, you'll see a lot of websites have monochrome logos scrolling through them, so, and it's really good to get them uniform. So you can do this as well. Really easy in Affinity Designer. Click the logo, click over to the Adjustments layer, and add a gradient map. As you can see, we've got the three colors selected. So if we needed monochrome, we can select each color and then just change the colors as required. So let's go to, let's change this one to gray. Now I've added an extra one there. So let me there. There you go. Completely monochrome lower. And you can export this. As you can see, transparency, PNG, or if you're using it for web, highly suggest you use WebP. Uh, and best quality, I normally use medium quality. Uh, depending on the requirements, export it out. There you have, completely monochrome logo. The best thing of all is it's completely editable. So we can delete. We can remove the color effect. We can remove the mask. And there we are, back to our original logo. Hope this helped. If so, like and subscribe to my channel and I'll keep providing more tips and tricks.